incredibly heavy rainfall here early this morning, just within the past two to three hours. Most of the Omaha Metro has picked up two to four inches of rain where you see there in purple. So really from Dodge Street down through most of Sarpy County, Papillion, Bellevue, and still back out toward the Millard, Boyce Town area, continuing into Council Bluffs, Silver City. So a, a tremendous amount of rain already has fallen early this morning. Still, uh, flash flooding concern. Flash flood warning still remains in effect for another hour and 45 minutes for most of Douglas, Sarpy County, and then western Pottawatomie, northwestern Mills County. So again, if you come across water covered roadways, do not drive through them, though. Good news is the heaviest rain is now pushing out of the Omaha Metro. This is just the last half hour. You see the heavy rain pushing east through Iowa, but still steady rain, some pockets of heavier downpour, still some rumbles of thunder around most of the metro area here as we uh, just pass 515 rain still coming down. This is a look out from our sky cam 27th and Douglas. This is higher up, but you get the gist rain still coming down roads terribly wet for the morning drive. Storms, heavy rain reported at Apple Airfield. Last update, also Red Oak and Maryville. Steady, lighter rain in Lincoln and Norfolk, but temperatures very mild in the upper 60s to around 70. Heaviest rain right now, pushing through Shenandoah, heading toward Tarkio, pass through Auburn, heading toward Falls City. So no severe storms, but again, some very heavy rainfall will continue to fall in portions of southwest Iowa, extreme southeast Nebraska, and northwest Missouri here over the next couple of hours. You can see a break in the rain back to the west. So we've got a couple more hours of steady rain, possible rumbles of thunder, mainly through seven o'clock here in Omaha, and then still some lingering light spotty showers could still linger through around nine o'clock. So plan on a wet morning drive drying out through the middle of the day. Some peaks of sunshine warming up in the 80s. It's humid and then you see the severe icon in at seven o'clock. Really anytime after six o'clock, we're watching potential for Another round of storms with severe potential. You see slight risk here in yellow across southeast Nebraska, southwest Iowa, northwest Missouri. So after six o'clock, Omaha Metro included in it. Right now within this, I'm thinking near and south of Omaha will have the best chance to see those severe storms with potential for 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts, large hail and additional flash flooding concern and still can't rule out an isolated tornado. So I have to stay weather aware here as we go throughout the day. The morning round moves out still cloudy through noon in the 70s, expecting the clouds to break up, get more sunshine. We'll need the sunshine if we are going to see that additional round here in the Omaha Metro. If we get clouds to linger, that could really limit our potential. But really thinking down south, we're going to have uh, hotter temperatures. Expect to see some of those storms to fire up possibly by seven o'clock. This model still just has some showers here, but watch what happens as we go through eight, nine o'clock. Maybe one near the metro, but more down toward Nebraska City, Falls City, and then expanding with time. You see far southwest Iowa down through uh, Falls City, Maryville area, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight. Most of the activity pushing out. So it's that window six to midnight. The best potential for storms and then drying out as we head into the morning on Thursday. So a severe weather day. Stay weather aware as we go through the evening hours. Small chance of a spotty shower or storm in the afternoon, early evening tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to keep it dry and seasonal through the rest of the seven day forecast of those highs in the mid 80s. But download that KETV mobile app. A great day to have it to receive any severe alerts. Again, we've got a flash flood warning ongoing right now in the metro.